A strong typhoon Fito already bringing some strong winds across the southern Japanese islands and waves crashing ashore up to 8 meters high possible in some coastal areas there in southern Okinawa Hanto extending out towards Miyakojima where this footage is coming out of shot by videographer James Reynolds here on Friday afternoon and it does look like he's going to be out there throughout the day on Saturday and even going out towards Sunday and Monday for our next storm system, which is going to be our tropical storm Donas, right in Fito's wake. That one pushing across the southern Japanese islands, and then this one coming in right behind it. So uh, this is our midnight update here on the 4th, going into the 5th of October 2013. Let's first talk about Fito. Already has been bringing some winds out here, gusting up to 100 kilometers per hour on Okinawa Hanto. Now, that's the main island off here towards the north. And, well, you already see these rain bands coming on shore and through the overnight hours. Do not be surprised if you continue to see these high winds as these stronger bands on the northern periphery of this storm system push on shore and even extending out through Saturday morning. Now, the max of the sustained winds with the lowest pressure likely is going to be by Saturday afternoon. But these rain bands, just like we've been saying all along, have these embedded thunderstorms. They have a lower pressure in themselves, and also they very well could possibly have some water spouts. I mean, if we take a look at the morph microwave imagery, we can really see that eye wrapping around there, and don't mind that. That looks like just an air popping up on the imagery here, but that really defined eye, these rain bands out there towards the north, very intense, and well, this is just going to be one intense storm system as it does push through Miyakojima and Okinawa here on Saturday. That eye wall very well likely is just going to be raking uh, the northern coast of Miyakojima, but you're still going to be seeing likely typhoon strength wind, or at least wind gusts that is sustained of 65 knots or sustained at 120 kilometers per hour possibly uh, there in Miyakojima, but also those wind gusts uh, or could be out there towards portions of Naha as this tracks down there towards the south because the northern extent of this wind field on this storm system does extend out there pretty far, mainly because it's been assisted by that upper level trough, which is now moving across Japan, bringing some showers to much of mainland Japan. We can even see this here on the visible slash infrared imagery, the bulk of that cloud cover on the northern periphery. So the southern half of this off towards Ishigaki, and I know we've been worried about the heavy rainfall in Taiwan, but if that dry air continues it flowing around this you may not be seeing so much of the heavy rain showers there across Taiwan so good news there uh, fl less of a flood risk but uh, for much of Okinawa Hanto you're gonna be seeing these heavy rainfall these very gusty winds are uh, continuing to come ashore going through the uh, overnight here through Saturday into the early morning hours then by Saturday afternoon that's when the worst of the weather is gonna be here and this is just taking a look at the track from JTWC winds sustained about 85 gusting up to 105 they do expect it to intend Intensify as it pushes just south of Okinawa here before uh, starting to weaken out due to an increase in vertical wind shear and then moving out there towards eastern China, south of uh, Shanghai, uh, but north of Fujian province, really just going to be pushing on shore here uh, as a, well, a weaker typhoon or possibly even a tropical storm. So I think it's going to be a big rainmaker for eastern China. That is going to be the main threat out here, a very serious risk of flooding out here towards the southern Japanese islands, more of a wind threat, high waves, uh, storm surge in some low-lying areas, but I think the high winds in the waves are going to be the bigger problem out here. So if you don't have anything secure by now, which... Um, already, I think, uh, T-Core 1 issued for the southern Japanese islands for the military out there. Typhoon warnings are in place. Uh, it, it's starting to get a little bit late, and it's up to that point where it, it, definitely going through the overnight hours, you don't want to be venturing. And that's one thing about the southern Japanese islands. They are built for typhoons. So if um, you are inside in your home, very good building code out here, uh, you're likely not going to be really injured or any threat of injury especially with uh, not a full-fledged system like this we're not seeing a direct landfall there in Okinawa Hanto Miyakojima is going to get raked the, the harder part but um, it's always those people that do venture out and try to go out and check out the waves or go near the coastal areas and those are the people that get injured so I uh, definitely want to watch this but that same warning is going to go in place for likely our next tropical system tropical storm Donas uh, just over the Marianas Island today high surf warnings in effect at this time expecting up to about three to four meter high waves near coastal areas north of guam now models all really do develop this storm system and follow right in the wake of fito out here pushing across well okinawa actually uh some of them take a little bit north of the island some of them take it towards the south so right now jtwc says it's going to run directly overhead jma 
actually right in line with that is with our 24th name storm of the year. Actually, uh, one thing I do want to note, 24 name storms. If this was in the Atlantic, it would be called Gamma because we would have exhausted the alphabetical list and started using the Greek alphabet. So something interesting, I just want to know. But uh, the rate right in line with JTWC and many of the models expecting that as well. So by Monday, uh, you very well could be seeing yet again another typhoon out here. So uh, yeah, it is early October. It is not completely uncommon to see back-to-back -back storms. So uh, yeah, just be ready. And this is that time of year. We see these storms come through and you just want to be prepared. I mean, these areas in the red showing winds up to about 50 knots across the southern portions of Okinawa, extending out through Miyakojima, that eye offshore. This is the ECMWF output for about Saturday 6 p.m. And that is when it really does look like the worst of the storm is going to be overhead. We'll just, re just really kind of push it back to about noontime. Storm's just going to be south of Okinawa Hanto there. But I do think around between about 5 to 7 p.m., that is when the worst of this is going to be before it pushes out. And starts the weekend, but becomes a very big rainmaker across eastern China. But that is all for right now, everybody. Thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com. Thanks again for James for letting me use his footage. Like always, uh, he's going to be continuing to put out stuff. So please click the annotation on the screen. You're going to subscribe to him because he is just going to continue to put out footage not only on Miyakojima but he's definitely going to be hanging around in Okinawa for the next storm that's going to be pushing through by Monday. So thanks for watching everybody. Stay safe.